Are you in the mood to hear a story? We're in the mood to hear a story. Use imagination and make connections. Today's story is about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh, Goldilocks was out wandering around one day in the woods when she came across a house. Now, this was the home of three bears who were very good bears. They were very cordial. And if Goldilocks had knocked on their door when they were at home and asked to have something to eat, they would have gladly let her in and sit in one of their chairs and even rest there for the day if she was too tired. But that was not what happened on this day that she was wandering around in the woods. The three bears had gotten up that morning and huge great bear had sat down to porridge that middle-sized bear had made and found out that it was much too hot to eat. And so he had turned to middle-sized bear and small little wee bear and said, let's go for a walk this morning and let our porridge cool so it doesn't burn our mouths when we eat it. Small little wee bear thought that was a great idea because he did not like his mouth burn. <coughs> Excuse me. And so they all went for a walk. Well, while they were gone on a walk, Little Miss Goldilocks came to the house and she peeked in the window. And when she didn't see anybody in the window, she went to the door and tried the doorknob. And the doorknob opened because you see the bears trusted everyone and they had no one that they would not have done something for. And so they left their door unlocked. And Little Miss Goldilocks charged right in and walked over to the table. And there she saw three bowls of porridge. Well now, she'd been walking in the woods, so she was hungry. And so she first of all went to the biggest bowl to try it. Oh, it was much too hot for her mouth. Too hot, too hot. So she went to the middle sized bowl. Ooh, it was too cold. Ooh, must have been the first bowl dished up. She went to the littlest bowl and she tasted it very carefully. And it was just right. And she just cobbled it all up, ate the whole thing. Oh, well now she had a full tummy. And so she walked through the house and she saw three chairs. She saw a giant huge chair. And she sat down in it, but it was, it was much, much, much too high. And, and when she slid out of it, she almost dumped on the floor. She went over to the middle-sized chair and sat down in it, but it was too cushy, cushy, cushy. And, and, and she sunk too far into the cushion. And so she got out of that. It was kind of hard crawling out. And then she saw a little chair and she went and sat down in it. It was the perfect size for her and she could, her feet reached the floor and this was perfect. So she rocked and she rocked and she rocked, <gasps> but she was too heavy for the chair and she broke it. Oh, well, she was still kind of tired after eating all that porridge. So she headed on up the stairs. She wondered what was up there. And when she got up there, there were three beds. She went to the giant huge bed and crawled in, but it was much, much too hard to lay on. So she crawled out of that one and went over to the middle sized bed and she crawled in there and it was much, much too soft, too soft. Then she went to the littlest bed and she laid down in it. And it was so comfortable. She fell sound asleep. And while she was sleeping, the three bears came home. And Papa Bear, the big, giant, huge bear, 
went over to his bowl and says, Somebody's been eating in my big porridge, and they left the spoon in the bowl. Giant huge bear did not like that. Middle-sized bear says, oh, Somebody's been eating my porridge too, and they left my spoon in my bowl too. And small little wee bear said, Somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up. Well, they went into their living room and they looked around. And Giant huge bear says, Somebody's been sitting in my chair because they pushed the cushion out on the floor. And middle-sized bear says, Somebody's been sitting in my chair because I can tell there's a big, big, big hollow in my nice soft cushion that I did not put there. Small little wee bear says, Somebody's been sitting in my chair and they broke it all apart. <laughs> they must still be in the house. Who would do such a thing? Who would come to our residence and cause such disarray? Well, they went upstairs and Giant Huge Bear says, Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. My coverlet is all messed up. Middle-sized bear says, Someone's been sleeping in my bed too. And my coverlet is all messed up. And small little wee bear says, Someone's been sleeping in my bed and they're still sleeping here. Well, Little Miss Goldilocks had been hearing these voices, but she thought she was just dreaming. And when Middle-Sized Bear and Giant Huge Bear came over to Small Little Wee Bear's bed and made noise, she woke up and she looked up at the three bears. And the only thing she could do was jump out the window and run frantically through the forest. Uh, and the three bears never, never heard from little Goldilocks again. And you know what? I do not know what happened to her. I don't know where she went. And that's the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. I'm just what about stories and illustrating them too. So goodbye for now, and I'll be back again. They'll be back again. You'll be back again soon.